You? I'm not late. I'm not interfering with any business there, am I? <laughs> you yourself looked at this time this morning, so I took it yeah, out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind the formality. Don't go whether you walk. Get to the place. Well, I presumed you would invite me to go someplace else. To your home, for instance? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I have no other place. This is my home here now. Morning, Thomas. What? We can be interrupted here, though. So much the worse for you. <coughs> come, come, what do you want? May I sit? Of course. Thank you. Do. No. Careful, that chair is broken. <laughs> broken. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly look stranger today than you did yesterday. <laughs> well, come, come, you're wasting time like a millionaire. What do you want? You have to forgive me. Everything here amazes me so much. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> The poster and the clown, the llama I saw coming up to see you, and now you, a clown in a circus. Could I have imagined that? Rosa, when everyone said you were dead, I alone protested. I <laughs> knew you were still alive, but to find you here in a circus, <laughs> that's beyond my understanding. <laughs> 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 You said you had a son? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look like me? <laughs> I don't understand you, sir. Well, I'd love to know. Widows and divorced women often they have my children by the new husband that looks like the old one. Oh, you uh, never had such bad luck, huh? <laughs> and your book? That's successful too? You want to insult me again, I said. Oh, my, my, what a touchy and uneasy spindler we have here. No, no, sit back. Never mind, don't worry. That's just the way we talk around here. My fool's cap with its rattles? Uh, what am my babbling about? You'd never take that. That would be too big for your fat head. Real. Why don't you just go back where you came from, you bookworm? You just can't get over the fact that your wife and the hell with my wife! Really? What language? I'm really having a hard time trying to express my ideas to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Atmosphere here. <laughs> well, if you are so indifferent to your wife, sir, who may I say still thinks you're a very saintly man. What? A saintly man. Then what is it that led you to such a step as this? Or is it because you care not forgive me and my success? Not wholly deserved, it could be true, but you were always so indifferent to fame then, weren't you? And one of more fortunate rivals. A you know, rival? You consider yourself to be a rival? But my book. Your book? You mean to say that you can talk to me about your book? <coughs> I am a very 
very unhappy man. Why? I'm very... You have to give me some. I'm deeply, I'm completely unhappy. Uncontrollably unhappy. But tell me why. I mean, you yourself said your book's having a tremendous success. You're praised, you're famous. It isn't the cheap newspaper doesn't use your name or your ideas. Who ever heard of me? Tell me that. Who ever had any use for my ideas, for my father's godsend, in which you could never find any meaning, you great defiler? You made my ideas accessible to your horses. With all the art of a great thing, a costume of ideas. You set my Apollo off as a hairdresser. You turned my Venus into a whore. You put donkey ears on my bright hero, and your career was me. Me! Well, anyway, that's the way my friend, Jack. So why are you miserable, you miserable wretch? <laughs> is it because the police haven't caught you yet? Is that it? No. Oh. Now, what the hell am I mumbling about? You get caught at all, you're always within the law. And you are still tormented by the fact that you are not married to my wife. Your theft will always notarize by some notary. Oh, why don't you get married? I'm dead. Or oh, isn't my wife enough for you? Hmm? Well, then take my ideas, take my fame. I'm dead and dying, I forgave you. But pride, sir. What? Pride. You are right about my pride. Well, don't touch me. I find that very peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> and unpleasant. And to think that there was a time when I actually liked you. And I even thought you were somewhat hell. I said, no, touch you. <laughs> My pancake black shadow. You're right. I am your shadow. No, you're not. You? Your chest. That was fast. <coughs> the heart of you fast. Listen, just tell me one thing, frankly and openly, if you can do it. Is it that you hate me so much? Is that what this is all about? Yes. With all the hatred there is on earth. <laughs> Will you sit? Are you ordering me? Will you sit, please? Thank you. Yes, I'll tell you why I came today. I have fame and I have respect, yeah? I have a wife and I have a son, yeah? But my wife loves you. Her favorite conversation is about you. She thinks you're a genius. She and I love you, even in bed. Oh, no, no, sir. I have to be very devious about it. Oh, I have a son, he will be like you. When I go away to my ink goes into my books, you're there, too. Always you, everywhere you. I'm never myself, I'm never alone in myself. And when I do go into my own mind, sir, Pay attention to this, sir. You're there, too. You and your damned awful face. <laughs> what a heart-bending fuss. The way everything in this world is so marvelous to turn upside down. The robber turns out to be the robber. And the robber complained of being so cursed. No, but you know, I was wrong. Listen, you're not my shadow. You're a crowd. You know what's wrong with you? Don't you understand? Yes? You're living my life. And living my life, you hate me. How can that be? Breathing the air, I breathe, you're suffocating from spite. And suffocating from spite and hating me and loathing me, you're carrying yourself along on the tail end of my ideas, but backwards. And backwards, don't you understand? Would it be easy? 
Y yo estaba ahí. Y para los tiempos. Ay, mire. Mire.
You do know my last friend, I think. What a great page, Miss Pat. I have had the pleasure to. Come once again, you sir. Let me go my sir. Excellency, you want to be careful in the dark passageways, you know, because there are sudden steps here. <laughs> you won't shake my hand. We're parting forever. No, no, that's absolutely unnecessary, Prince. I still have the hopes of meeting you in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> You'll be here too, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> when did you learn it all? <laughs> oh, when did you learn it all? <laughs> cloud in here. That's a cloud in here. <laughs> oh, my God. You uh, haven't gone mad, have you? You're right. You know, my friend, you've never expressed yourself so accurately. I thought and two footmen will follow along behind you to guard me from the, uh, my floor. Oh, he a lot of my ancestors seeds within me. <laughs> You've seen the stiletto, haven't you? What do you think? Was it ever stained with blood? You frightened me, Count. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. How are things with the girl? Ah, oh, the bourgeois are completely satisfied. That's completely. They sing praises for their name. <laughs> In general, the laughter of my name burns the land parallel over here. By the way, you don't happen to know which automobile company is considered the best, do you? Money is not out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Papa Briquet! Bonjour. Oh, then. Now oh, you have a benefit for your consuelo, then. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me tell you, if it hadn't been for Zanina. Now listen, Vicky, okay. you're an absolute ass. For the for the benefit that they're always taking the entire dress circle, not enough for you, you miser. I love your daughter, and sorry to let her go. I mean, what doesn't she have here, huh? Honest work, good friends, the atmosphere. It's not what she doesn't have, it's what I do. Understand? I told you after long, so I had something under the bill, but now, well, can you print a thousand francs for me, Mr. Manager? Hand it over. Oh, tomorrow. I left it at home. Well, you can laugh, you know, but we are going to the Peron to his villa in the suburbs this afternoon. They say it's not a bad one. What for? Well, you know the whims of these millionaires. You want to show Consuelo some sort of winter road. Mm -hmm. It's hot out, you know. And me, it's his wine is done. They're coming for us here. What's the matter? I can't do you, Dennis. What right is he to shout at me? Hmm. He almost hit me with his whip. He 
Da prekvejo, ja so za mene še potem vstepala je vranim mir, a? Jaz ima na ljubi, da vi? Sad no, pa rek, še napi, ali ki me to da spojite? No, je bom zdaj, da kaj sem odruvala, da odim si? No, 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 Hello? I didn't know. Oh, well, let's ask you. Where are you going for him? Oh, I'm off, I'm off, I'm going home. Uh, oh, by the way, Zanita told me to say hello, so I'll give some her. Uh, she won't be here today either. <laughs> How dear Zanita is, how good. Stop the why is everyone here so dear to me now? I suppose because I'll soon be leaving. Did you hear that March Tilly and Polly are going to play? Yes, I heard it as well. Oh, it's so good. I know your benefit's going to be wonderful. I think so too, myself. Oh, Papa, get me a sandwich. I'll go. Oh. <laughs> hmm. special about you today, my dear. I don't know whether it's good or bad. Were you crying? A little. <coughs> oh, I want to eat something. But you had your breakfast. No, Papa. I guess today you didn't leave me any money. Oh, <laughs> mon Dieu, what a memory. <laughs> Otherwise, I had a good meal today at the Baron, so please, no, don't fill yourself up in center. <laughs> Well, he said he would run and he's nearly the best. But the day was closed and he had to get it. Come on. 
And so, Father, I want to warn you again about Eve. Don't trust him. There is something about him. He doesn't act straight. Uh -huh. You say that about everyone. I know him. He's so sweet that he loves me. <laughs> Believe me, there is something about him. Papa, I'm fed up with your advice. I'm your court fool. When I leave, will you get yourself another queen? Oh, no, no, no. I'll follow you, my goddess. I'll carry your white train and I'll wipe away my tears. Oh, you're long, Isn't it sad, you, that gone are the days when dozens of motley fools would fill the Mancini court and show their tricks? Yeah. Sometimes for the pain to receive gold and sometimes a kick. <laughs> Nowadays, Mancini must go to a circus to see a proper fool, and besides, too busy. Mine? Not at all. Anybody to pay the problem. Without the democracy, we soon won't be able to breathe. He is too many fools. Oh, well, 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 we just serve who pays, Carl. What can you do? Isn't this saddening? Isn't this saddening? Can you just imagine? We're, we're sitting in my castle, me. I'm, I'm sipping wine by the fireplace. You're at my feet, babbling your nonsense, tingling your little bell, <laughs> amusing me. You even insult me once in a while, which was sanctioned by tradition and necessary for the circulation of the blood. But then, after a while, I become tired of you, and I want another one, so I give you a hit. <laughs> but let me splendid. Oh, now there would be divine, let me. And you would be paid in gold, those enchanting little yellow beasts. Well, that's settled when I'm in so far, you. Do, Papa. And then when the Count is weary of my idle chatter mm -hmm. and gives me a tip with his noble foot, I'll simply lie down at the feet of my queen. And wait for the day. Hmm? <laughs> my British Papa, give me a handkerchief. <laughs> work, oh Lord, it's not the work. But don't forget, my child. You dare won't. You go ahead. I pulled the barrel on. And you let me talk with you when you are ready, my dear. Before I get back from the well, you still have to get back to my child. Signori, miei complimenti. Do you mean you didn't come?